okay, so there's a law per day. So Monday, the law of giving. Today, bring to whoever you encounter a gift, a compliment or a flower. Gratefully receive gifts. Keep wealth circulated by giving and receiving care, affection, appreciation, and love. And then there's the law of karma, the mm -hmm. law of least effort, yep. the law of intention and desire. The law of I like the law of attachment. Now I remember that. Yeah. Whether you're attached to positive or negative, you can be attached to positive, and now that positive owns you and takes away your power. I never forget that. <laughs> and I, that's why like, when you start getting people come up to you and they ask you to take selfies with you, or if you're you just want a match and people come up to come up to you, you know, and they want to make you their false idol because that's Q Vader. If you get lost in that, a lot of people that are celebrity get lost in that. I see it every day. I uh, I'm glad you brought that up because I I got to sit down with the kid I trained and he's doing really well. He's doing okay. very well for himself and people are excited about him. And uh, you know, I reminded him that glory fades and fame fleeting. Like don't forget who you are in this. You know what I mean? Like people are going to give you things and you're going to think people are your friends. And then one day the music stops. And the big thing that I am with this kid is like, you got to be a better person. Yet while you're the only way you're going to become a better fighter is if you become a better person, you know what I mean? And, and how you become a better person is you, you want to build great relationships. You want to give, you want to give as much as you can every day. Yeah. And uh, it's funny, man. Like when you really do that, and you build great relationships and you just give from a place of giving and not because you want something in return. It's, I don't want to say it's crazy because there's me catching myself. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. The doors, they really do open up for you. you How know? much is that? Now, okay, so when did that mindset start? Was that in the last couple of years? I would say, I think it's really like, I really believe that it's like in like those dark moments of your life where you just you felt like you hit rock bottom and I remember the day where it was like this is you know what I mean like you're looking back and you're like remembering the good times but like how did I get to this point right here um and you know you're better and you know you deserve more and you know mm -hmm. you can do more and that's when it really hit me like because you start to get mad that I spent time fighting I should have been doing all these different things and you see other people further along than you and, uh, you know, you start to become ungrateful, but it was funny. Like it was like in those moments where I really realized that being that kind of person that people wanted to be around and being good to people, um, came back and like, it was like, I was just receiving at that point. You know what I mean? Like it was almost, you're looking around for like that hidden camera. If someone's going to pop out, I'm like, just kidding. Ha ha ha. Um, so, so yeah, I'd say definitely like in like those toughest times, cause it's like, you know, when you believe in all that, it's like, how would you know all this stuff was true if like you never were hungry, if you ever, if you've never been broke, you know what I mean? If, if, if you've never felt like at the bottom, you know what I mean? Like that's when you, that's when it matters. Like all that other time when it, when it was great, when it was exciting and there was money here and people were excited to see you, it didn't matter at that time. Interesting. 